Hey everybody, this video we will be covering how to create your Printtech account uh, through Lockerstock. Okay, and you can do that uh, through your T-Rex plugin. And uh, so just to kind of recap, Printtech is uh, a main supplier that we use, a lot of the member T-Rex members use, to have all of their uh, products and apparel and things fulfilled and, and drop shipped to their customers. It's located in Hannibal, Missouri, and you'll create an, a locker stock account under the Print Tech dashboard. And so this way, um, everything, if you decide to use them as your main supplier, uh, this is where you'll manage all of your products. You'll be able to create different products. You'll be able to get all of the information you need as, as far as the products that you want to use. Um, you'll be able to log in and see um, get tracking numbers, see orders, making sure that everything's getting processed. So this is kind of goes to the back end uh, of Printtech's account um, software so they can, this is how they manage all of the orders that come in and you'll create your own separate account. We suggest even if you are using a different supplier just to create an account just so you have one. It's free of charge um, to create an account so this way when you decide to use them you'll, you're, you're already set up and ready to go. So you just kind of go through and under your T-Rex plugin you'll come down to Printtech, Printtech's account management now, if you're a little bit confused, Print Text is the name, and they, they are changing their name to Print Tech. So um, we're still in the process of changing everywhere you see that. But if you see Print Text here and Print Tech up here, it is the same company. They're just going through a name change. Okay, So you'll just put your store name in, whatever that is. So you should just, uh, Text WP, we'll just use it. Um, this is a, uh, an example. You'll put your, your full name in. So put this so they know that's a test. You'll put the support email in. So you want to usually you'll use your support email. But I'm just going to use one that I have set up for this right now. It's a Gmail account, but you can normally you would want to put your support at your store URL name in there, okay? And then your e-commerce e store URL, you'll just put this in here, whatever it is. Oops. And this is where you're going to create your, your username and password. And then just create a pack password and confirm that and you're going to hit submit okay so what this is going to do is this is going to go ahead and add um, get you started so now that you have a username and password it will automatically put your username that you created go ahead and enter your password Let's just see, if, did I not type it in right? I thought I had. Let me make sure that I have not my caps on. Okay, should be in here. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna see where the password, what had, what's happening here. So I'll be right back after this pause. Okay, so I got the password. I just had to go back and I was typing something in wrong. So once you log in, you can go to this and it will have, this will have your dashboard in here. So the cool thing is you can always get into your Print Text Account Management dashboard and we'll do more videos about, um, about what all these things mean. But this is just so you know you can do it through your plugin. And um, so once you're ready to go, you can go over to your dashboard. And you can uh, kind of just go, go through, go around here and um, while you're still in here, if you ever want to edit any of the information that you have for your print text, you can do that on this tab. Okay. And we're going to go to account right here. Okay. So when you go to your account, this is where you're going to get your API key that you can enter into your business settings. So all you have to do is once you go under account here, 
scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can enter in um, under here. You can start entering more information, uh, payment email. So if you're going to pay Print Tech through your um, PayPal email address, you can use your PayPal email here. Uh, you can upload a logo for promotional uh, for the promotional receipt that they can send out. All your billing information. You'll need to come in here, fill out the email tracking numbers, uh, the name. So if you want a uh, tracking number sent. Um, so if you want to put your business name, your support email address, and then if you want to CC a copy to another email address. Of, um, of all the tracking emails that are sent. So that way you can keep track of them. And then you would, this is very important. You want to make sure you click this to send tracking number to email to customer. So once a tracking number is generated, they automatically get an email. And again, and you want to upload your logo here. Um, but you, you, you can have all this. We have an API integration. So as orders are come in through your uh, T-Rex store, they automatically go into your Print Tech account. And just to get that token, you just simply hit generate token. You can copy and paste that here. Then you can go back over to your business settings. And this is where you'll put that locker stock API key or that token key. You'll just set it in there. Make sure you save your changes. Okay. Also, you can get to it by being in your store. If you want to go to, let me close out these tabs. You can also go to uh, lockerstock.printtextinc.com um, outside of your plugin and you can log in that way too. So it's lockerstock.printtextinc.com and you can log into there. So but it's really easy to just you know access it through your through your plugin too. So that is how you set up your print text account management. Again we'll have more detailed videos about everything inside Lockerstock and and how you can get to your products and how you can get product descriptions but that's how you sign up for your account.